I think we gotta do it. Oh! Welcome to GT Not Live, where today I am just as clueless at going into juniors as I am at solving how juniors fits into the overall FNAF lore. Uh, we are in part two of our FNAF fan game juniors. It's one of the more recent FNAF fan games to come out. Uh, it's, it's great. Visually, it's fantastic. Gameplay-wise, it's interesting, but if you watched our first playthrough of it, Woo! We got to night two and literally ran into a wall as we couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. Um, since then, I have done a little bit of research. Ash has done a little bit of research. Uh, there's a new version of the game. So a lot has happened in the meantime between that embarrassing, you know, not, not, the, not the smoothest episode of GT Live we've ever done, but certainly on par with stuff we've done in the past. Um... And, and, and today, right? So today I feel much better prepared going in, getting through a bunch of nights, and who knows, seeing what mysteries Juniors has in store for us as far as the FNAF lore is concerned. Um, so thank you to the one of the developers uh, who helped kind of work on this. He was down in the comments uh, in the last video who kind of suggested like, hey, it looks like you're playing an older version of the game. Uh, so now I think it's at 1.3, version 1.3. Uh, I've watched a couple playthroughs where I've seen some of the mechanics play out. I've watched a couple of tutorials where people are like, y you, you know, this is what you do. Because, um, again, if I were to say one thing to, you know, for the developers of this game, like when you do like one, version 1.4, 1.5, give us more tutorial. Because um, there is a lot of vaguely explained mechanics, uh, and now I understand them, right? So when Balloon Boy glitches, he's just haunted, period. You don't have to look for him on the cameras, he's not there, he just glitches and he's haunted. Um, when a handprint is left, it is literally, when they leave the room, it, you're, so you're not tracing it, you just gotta watch when someone leaves and they leave a handprint. So, I feel better prepared for what we have in store, I feel good about it, we had suspicions about some of this stuff, but now it's confirmed. And also, apparently we missed dialogue too, Ash? That was a thing that happened? Yeah, so apparently our character has some dialogue with, um... Paul Bear? Bear? Yeah. The Paul Bearer? Yes. Uh-huh. Paul is bare. So we, we didn't have that at all last time either. No, so, we were just using our imagination. <laughs> okay, so I think equipped now with all this new information and confidence and a positive outlook on life, just hop into it. We're going to start from the beginning just because, you know, we we didn't get that far. Let's be honest. We got through night one in, in our first upload. So I think we're going to breeze through this. All right, so let's just hop into it. Uh... I don't think I called this out last time I was playing. This is weird, uh, but see how short we are? Like, we are the same size as Paul Bear, which, again, I don't know if there's lore implications there or if by the nature of, you know, this game and, and the way that we're interacting with the bear, like, to make it possible, we just need to be shorter. But it is, we are decidedly very short. Uh, we are as short as our very teeny bed here. Uh, also... The brain is dropping allergens upon us, which has me concerned about our uh, hygienic safety. Anyway, uh, here's Paul Bear, which, again, if you missed our last playthrough, we've gone through this cutscene. I'm just going through it again because, you know, I, I want us, I want to get warmed up into it since last time was kind of a, a hot mess. So we're doing it. We'll get through this quickly. Golly, I wasn't expecting to see you show up. I'm Paul Bear. Thanks, Paul Bear. Should there have been text there, Ash, somewhere? There should have, but I can just tell you what was supposed to be there. <laughs> okay, yeah, that I, you know what? That's as good of a solution as that. Have we checked like the the settings and stuff? Like, no, we have. Okay, we have. Yeah, the screen <laughs> just, resolution, everything's all right. Yep. All right, we just don't have dialogue. Cool. <laughs> Starting off strong. We're, it's great. So smooth. All right. We are professionals at doing this, uh, but no. We, so we test we test the screen resolution. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. All right. So yes, uh, presenting us with our protagonist's text options uh, is is Ash. So, oh hi, I'm Paul Bear. What did he say? Where the heck am I? Who are you? Great. Oh, you're in the Barrens, a limbo between life and death. I'm dead. 
How is that even possible? What happened to me? Slow down there, little buddy. I, uh, I like clearly. This. I, yeah. I like this. I like this dialogue we have going. This is really yeah, working. Yeah. Slow down there, little buddy. I said limbo between life and death. You aren't dead at all. What does that even mean? It means, wow, there is a logical flow to this. Yeah. It means you can go back to the real world whenever you like. Okay, great. Send me back now. I, I don't belong here. Yeah, not so fast. I brought you here to help me with some unfinished business I have in the real world. Man, stupid psychic bears forcing us to do their dirty work for them. No text here. You just keep going. Oh, okay, great. Unfortunately, I'm not alive like you. I've been trapped in here in your brain allergy space for so long as I can, as long as I can remember. I've been waiting to cross paths with someone like you, someone that could help me move on to the afterlife. I'll even make you an offer. You help me with my unfinished business, and I'll lend a helping hand with your investigation. I know Junior's like the back of my hand. Go over to the bed. I'll transport you back to the real world. Meet me back here tomorrow night. So, so we're, he's trapped in our head, headspace, imaginary limbo land, but, and, and we're the size of a child, but we're doing an investigation on, uh, on Junior's. Yeah, the lore here, I'm not 100% sure about. I'm, I'm hoping future nights will reveal more about this. So, all right, we're just going to hop into the bed here. I also like this, like, old Nickelodeon-style exclamation point. <laughs> like, whoa! It's like a fairly odd parents. Angry beavers! Okay, so, we know how this game works now. We understand that this is all about, you know, hide-and-seek, using evidence to figure out who is the haunted animatronic. Uh, so, flickering lights, handprints, uh, I'm assuming other things as we get deeper into this. Yes, and it's important to note that when you guess an animatronic is haunted, um, if you, like, the first time it goes around, you know how sometimes you're like, ugh, didn't work, and you kept doing it? Yeah. Every time you do that and it's not haunted, it brings down the stability. Yep. And when it goes below a certain point, that's when you get jump scared. Yeah, and, and I noticed that too, because, like, each time I was getting kind of confused and frustrated where I'm like, I chose this one as the one that was haunted, and I thought it was just waiting for me to put down the, the screen, but, yeah, it was actually injuring the animatronic and lowering its stability, which is why it was ultimately, um, so yeah, that's, that's Freddy's haunted. Right? Was that Freddy? Or was that Bonnie? Who was in there? See it flickering? Is so you? we see the flickering screen, and the only one in here is Freddy, who I still attest in this position looks a lot like an elephant, but so be it. Okay, so now I feel good about that, so we're going to open it up. Okay, keep an eye on the panel, so that way everyone's st stable. Look for flickering. I'm gonna call, no, we don't call him, we accuse him. So we're gonna accuse him. Great work. Use the downtime accordingly. See? There we go. See, this is, this is what we got going on. So I'm actually gonna call, since, since none of the animatronics are haunted, and, and again, this was one of the things that I was thinking about doing last time, but I was still so confused by what was going on and, and figuring it out, that I thought multiple animatronics were haunted at the same time. That is not the case. You find it is one ghost and the ghost hops between all the different things, right? So that was the reason why I was confused and skeptical about this. But I think now, in between accusations, we can bring someone along and I suspect that now the puppet isn't going to be haunted, right? Like that per the puppet, because they were kind of brought to us during that down period, I think the puppet should be safe. So that eliminates, oh, and we already see the flickering going on right now. So whoever's in here right now, so it's either Chica or Freddy, is gonna be haunted. And it's still, Chica, see, is it still flashing a little bit? Yeah, now that Chica left, the flickering is gone. So I'm gonna say it's Chica. You know what? I'm telling you, I, I feel good about how this works now. Woo! There it is! That's the way! That's how this should be done, friends! Paul Bear is waiting for me. It's under three minutes. Man, it helps when you understand the mechanics. The whole time I was, I, because I will say if there were multiple animatronics haunted at the same time, if they were all haunted simultaneously, that was one of the reasons I was so concerned about some of this, because now all of a sudden you have like overlapping effects 
you know, that, that might be happening. But knowing that there's only one ghost that you're tracking, that streamlines this process so much better uh, and makes it a lot simpler to kind of keep track of what's going on. So, hop into night two. Tuesday night, who is Paul Bear? It's the title of a uh, game theory right there. They're even giving us the titles for how we can cover this game. That's very nice. No, actually, it would be Paul Bear's Dark Secret! Exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Paul Bear animatronic with, like, uh, uh, bloody, n no eyes, b black tear stains coming out. Are you ready for your performance? I'm so ready. Okay, here we go. This is this is your theater. <laughs> All your theater trauma was for this moment, Ash. Okay. Great. <laughs> this is was, hashtag worth it. You came back. So, how'd your first night go? It was unlike anything I'd ever seen. The paranormal activity was off the charts. <laughs> wow. Off the charts, oh, my off dude. The, off the charts. Man, I'm glad that we have this this full color commentary. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. we wouldn't. Oh, well, you know, it was, it was a night. Yeah. It existed. The paranormal activity was off the charts. As I suspected, the, the same ghost that's been haunting juniors for years, playing the same old tricks. Wait, if there's a ghost in the real world, then why can't you do this yourself? You made that whole thing up last night. Wow, this is this is a deep conversation. There we go. Oh, uh, uh, uh. All right, fine, you caught me. I lied. Any ghost can go back to the real world, but I'm such a nervous wreck, I can't go back. I've been hiding in this costume for so long. Excuse A ghost? Afraid of a ghost? I, I agree. I agree, nameless protagonist. So true, bestie. Uh, so is the hashtag truth. Uh, a little bit, yes, that's kind of why I need you. Get out of here. See, no one can do their job, Ash. That's... Like, ghosts expecting us to pick up the slack for them? <sighs> Come on, man. What? A, I'm, I'm having to fix animatronics. I'm having to do the investigation. I'm caught in this limbo space. Man, the weight of the world is on my shoulders. From the topographical perspective, we might be a child. We might be a child. Doing this might this. even be child labor. I, exactly. I, man, just outsourcing. Everyone outsourcing their work to the children. Unacceptable. <laughs> Think of the children. Think of the ha kids. Think of the children having to do their private investigations of haunted pizzerias while also being slaves to the ghost figures that exist in their limbo brain space. And who's who's cleaning up the allergens floating around? Allergic <laughs> to brain dust. At you. Pollution has gotten so bad. <laughs> well, I don't... There's a lot of news headlines about the amount of plastics, microplastics in our bodies right now. Mm. Little did you suspect that the microplastics were inside your skull! Microplastics all up in my head, yo! I'm tired. I'm t Guess what? I'm tired too, <laughs> Paul Bear. We're all tired! Get over it! Have you seen the last couple years? We're all tired! Get over it! Sorry. I'm feeling salty at Paul Bear. Yeah. I ghosts! In the after, what else they got to do? They got eternity. Stop wasting my time. I'm tired. I'm tired of being afraid of her. She won't let me leave with my soul intact. She'd rip me to itty bitty bits if she knew that I was hiding out here with you. But now that you're here, you can help me by getting rid of the ghost once and for all. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I feel like a fish on a hook. <laughs> See? It's a protagonist. <laughs> I love this, like, nonchalant little dude. <laughs> right? Like, oh! I don't know, like, I feel like fish uh, Like, that was nuts, bro. But, <laughs> right? like, for real? <laughs> right, right, he's very casual about this whole thing. Like, oh, yeah. That, that paranormal activity was off the chain. No, 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 you're right. Let's talk more tomorrow night. After you've done my work for me. Child. Small creature. What Thanks. Are, the, what are my wages? Good, good, none. Survival. You put your life on the line, I, a ghost, will sit here and be safe. A ghost who has already died. Oh no, he might. she might rip me to shreds. Oh no. What about me? The human. Being child. Laboring. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. It's Paul Bear guy. I don't like him. Alright, get ready for the smudges. So night one was smooth. Now we're smudging it up. So no promises here. Because this is, this, is this is still the tough one. Okay. Okay, does Paul Bear have any messages for us? He does not. He's just like, good luck. <laughs> Go do my work for me. Small, small, small creature. Okay, there's Chica. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, here's Freddy. He's alone. So if we see a hand smudge after he leaves. Right, because night two is smudges. There's Bonnie. I'm seeing no hand smudges after Freddy left. Seeing no hand smudges. Oh, wait, there's a hand smudge. So that seems like it might be Bonnie. Because Bonnie left and left a hand smudge. So I'm. It was either Freddy or Bonnie. There's Bonnie again. Has the smudge been reasserted? That's the one thing I'm not sure about, is whether the hand smudge gets reasserted and how long it lasts. Because once it's there, it's like, oh, well. I'm inclined to think it's Bonnie right now. Man. No one respecting the cameras. It makes me very sad. Okay, here is Puppet is in here. Also, once we know where these animatronics are, that'll also help us. Where's Bonnie? Anyone? Anywhere? Okay, Foxy. Foxy's in this room. And Foxy does not leave a smudge. And yeah, it's gonna be Bonnie. I'm almost 100% positive. If I could find anyone, it'd be great. Okay, everyone, anyone here? Okay, there's Freddy. Oh no, that's Bonnie. You can tell by the guitar. Okay, so Bonnie just hopefully left. Okay, Bonnie left. But did Bonnie leave a smudge? Are we seeing Go back towards the center, yes. Yes, there it is. Okay, that's Bonnie. Great, feel good about that. I like that Paul Bear still like, look for flickering lights. No, we're, we're not flickering lights right now. Yeah, I use the downtime wisely. Great. I'm going to call. Who do I want to call? We should call someone. I'm going to call Puppet again. I like calling Puppet. Because then you don't have to worry about any, like, audio cues. Presumably. Okay. So Puppet's on the way. Everyone's a blank slate now. So it might be smudging. It might be flashing. Might be something else, we're not sure. A ghost, okay, ghost is here. And Foxy's here. Okay, anyone in here? Come on. Anyone wanna join us? Apparently not. That's fine. Okay, here's Freddy. No smudge there. There's Chica. I'm seeing a little bit of flickering now. See how it's flickering? So I think that this might be a flicker clue. And now the flickering is gone. So it looks like it's Bonnie again. I'm going to say Bonnie again. Actually, but first let me repair. Uh, grab the chip from inside. Grab the chip, throw it away. Grab the chip, put it in. There we go. So you should be stable. I think it's still Bonnie. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. F I should repair them, right? Well, if I think it's Bonnie and it's not gonna jump, I should just call people, repair them while I'm confident where they are. So that way they're all kind of reset at this point. That's my guess. And the fact that I'm not getting jump scared right now tells me that I've, I've been right. I'm kind of nervous about this. <laughs> okay, Foxy. There we go. So Foxy's safe. I'm gonna call. Freddy. And I've got it on Bonnie. I'm gonna accuse you here in a second.
Right? I'm right in thinking this, that this is a good use of my time. Because if we know who it is, we should just repair everyone. And also by process of elimination. Stability. Yeah, now we know it's Bonnie. For sure. Because otherwise everyone would be like, oh no, you got jump scared. So we'll repair the last two. Cool, okay. Look, we're making progress. This is just gonna buy us time for the last round. There she is. Repair, repair. Okay, last one. Uh, animatronic stability, we're gonna call Balloon Boy. There we go. And and then after that, we'll just be ready to accuse Bonnie. It'll start the last round, at which point then we can hopefully, you know, have a little bit more time and not have to worry about anyone's stability. There we go. Oh, hey, Balloon Boy. You are so terrifying. Hey. My, my little serial killer wannabe. Okay, Bonnie. J'accuse! <laughs> nice, too! Can we go a third one? Uh, I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna call... Bonnie, because... Yeah, you are low on stability. Marionette's shockingly low on stability. Not exactly sure why. That's a bit concerning. Okay, Ghost has entered. So Foxy and Freddy are in here. As well as the marionette. Freddy. Huh. Okay. Chica. Chica's in here. It's not seeing any any glitching or anything. Hmm. Ooh, Chica left and there's a handprint. That makes me think it's gonna be Chica. That's my guess. We'll double check that in a second. How's everyone's stability? Everyone's doing good. Great. So I think it's Chica. Chica left a handprint, but let's let's double check here by finding Chica elsewhere. Okay, here. Oop. Oh, oh, wow. There's a lot of handprints. So Chica left a handprint there. What else is Chica hanging out? Here's Chica. Do we see a handprint? Chica left. Shoot. Not seeing a handprint though. No! Foxy also just left and Freddy left. Okay, here's Chica again. Okay, Chica left. Oh, is it not Chica? Is it the marionette? It must be. Okay, marionette's in here now. Ooh, Freddy! That was definitely a Freddy left, right? And the handprint just showed up. That's a Freddy. That's a hardcore Freddy accuse. You, sir, are guilty! Yeah, we beat night two! We beat night two! We beat Tuesday night! Yeah, Tuesday night funkin'! Whew, it only took us 10 minutes. Great. All right. We'll take it. Whoo! This is tense. This is tense. I like this. This investigation element is really fun. Ooh, we got a new, new thing. After finishing your shift, you stumble across an old VHS tape. Dun, dun. Oh, episode one. Wait, Freddy and Friends backstage. Uh, watch it. Leave? Why would you leave it? Yeah, you're watching that. That's lore right there! You're gonna leave the lore? Get out of here. Hmm. <laughs> this is Claymation Freddy. Okay, what do we got? He's carrying, he's building the gray animatronic. Ooh. 
Dun, dun, dun. What is it? What's it say? Beware the mangle. Oh, is he building mangle? Is the ghost building the mangle? But isn't mangle built from the parts of Funtime Foxy? And Foxy's already an existing animatronic. Anyway, lore. No one. Spooky red light. I don't know how that would do from a rating. Let's let's put this on VHS and ship it out to the kiddos. They'll love it. They can watch Bluey. They can watch Paw Patrol. Nah. Freddy backstage. Slowly building an animatronic. That's great. Wednesday night. The Mangle. I love that Tuesday night of who is Paul Bear. We got no answers. That did not help us at all in the slightest. Wednesday. The Mangle. Cool. So the Mangle seems to be our main an antagonist in this one. And that's who Paul Bear is afraid of. It's going to rip me to shreds. All right, here we go. Ready, bestie? Got you, bestie. Great, bestie. <laughs> hey, buddy. How'd it go? It went well. I found something that you might want to know about. A lot of hand smudges on the cameras. Is that what we're going to tell him about? Because that's what we should tell him about. Yeah. We should tell him about proper camera care and mm -hmm. cleaning. Yeah. Because these ghosts clearly do not have any sort of consideration for that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, what's on your mind? Stop. Use a, a clean <laughs> microfiber cloth. Wipe in a circular direction. Do not use any sprays. I think the ghost left us a message in the form of an old school VHS tape. <laughs> Analog horror. A VHS tape? Ah. Line. Sorry. Line. 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 Yeah, I stumbled across it after my shift. I think it was trying to give us a message. A message? About what? Uh, line. <laughs> I'm not too sure. It was just an old school cartoon episode, but something about it was very off. Probably the fact that it was building a haunted animatronic called the Mangle. Well, how'd the tape end? With Freddy carrying a piece of an animatronic to a door that said, the Mangle. A mangle of parts? Why would the ghost need animatronic parts? Maybe the ghost is building a new body. She's building the mangle. <laughs> no, don't be silly, <laughs> Paul Bear. The, the mangle is clearly possessed by the spirit of a dead dog. We've established this. Everyone in the FNAF community agrees. It is a not controversial theory in the slightest. The end. <laughs> Why would a dog animatronic be building the mangle? The mangle, huh? I don't like the sound of that. I love this dude. I love this dude so much. <laughs> Do you have another line? Because I clicked it again and I don't have Yeah. One. Let's see if the next tape will help us. I'll talk to you after. Good luck, buddy. I, li <laughs> I like that we're just assuming that there's going to be more tips down the line. Like, oh, don't worry. This ghost, this evil ghost, the mangle that's building this body is going to leave us v... Right? Because that's the ghost we're hunting here, but apparently this lore might be a little shaky. But if I'm interpreting this correctly, the the evil mangle ghost that, that Paul Bear here is so afraid of is also presenting, uh, creating claymation-style VHS tapes to present to us in order to tell us about her creation of a new body. We all have our hobbies. <laughs> I, I might be an angry, aggressive killer spirit, but I'm a creator at heart. Yeah. I got, what else am I going to do in my afterlife? Meanwhile, Paul Bear is just like, -da 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 -da, hanging out in my brain space. I love that the stakes just do not feel high for this character. He's just <laughs> Paul, like, well, Paul, Paul Bear? Paul Bear or, or, or child investigator? Random child investigator. Because he's just like, oh yeah, I mean, it was pretty funky, you know, but I'll talk to you. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty, it was unusual. TTYL, it was, man. It was somewhat unusual. You know, I was mildly perturbed by what I saw. There was a slight uh, discomfort in what happened that night. Okay, Ghost is in an animatronic, so here's Foxy alone. Okay, Foxy's alone. He did not leave me any, any hand smudges. So, ooh, ooh, wait. Hold up. It felt like the camera moved. Oh, the camera's moving on its own! Oh, that's cool! The camera's no longer moving on its own. So it's Bonnie. 
That that must be it. That must be the. That's cool. Nope, I was wrong. Yeah, ooh, I was definitely wrong. Okay. Hey, bud, keep an eye on the camera tonight. I noticed some strange movement with them. Okay, so yeah, that was a camera movement glitch. Cool. Okay, so there's... So now I really gotta fix Bonnie, because I accused Bonnie and Bonnie was safe. So I need to fix, fix Bonnie. All right. But that means it was probably Freddy then? Because Freddy was the other one in there. Okay, here's Freddy. And Freddy is moving the camera, yeah. That was not me moving the camera, that was Freddy moving it away. That's, that's terrifying. Yeah, it's gotta be Freddy. Because we know it wasn't the, we know it wasn't the marionette, because the marionette was with me. So it's gotta be, gotta be old Freddy. Freddy! Accuse. Jacques! Got him. Great. Uh, Chica's coming. So it probably won't be Chica getting possessed, right? There she is. Okay, Ghost has entered the animatronic. Shoot, I probably should have stalled on Chica a little bit longer because now it could be any of them. Hmm. Okay, we got Bonnie. Ooh, we got a bunch of them in here. Okay, I'm not feeling cameras moving. Chica's now here. And Mangle. Or, sorry, and Marionette. Marionette's gone. Chica's gone. Not seeing any handprints. Not seeing any flashing. By process of elimination, without even seeing it, it should be Foxy, right? Huh. Oh yeah, Foxy. Yep, there it is, because there's a handprint. Ooh, close. So let me repair some people real quick. Oh, ho, ho, holy cow. Wow, they are very low right now. Jacques. Oh no. Freddy! Freddy, no! Shoot, shoot. Freddy's gonna jump scare me. Cause he's wow, you Oh Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta be fast, I guess. Like faster. And be call non haunted characters on the conveyor for Yes, thank you. Yeah, yep. Okay. So this so this ramped up. So now stability is becoming a, a big issue. Which is good to know, so I'm gonna call you first, because I don't I don't I like not having to listen to the audio. That is nice. Um No one's haunted yet. And really this seems to be the main room. <laughs> like, really we just gotta hang out on this camera all the time. Okay, ghost has entered. Who's here with us? Anyone? Anyone here? No one's here, okay. Hello? Anyone coming? Okay, there's Bonnie and Chica. So hopefully we can eliminate two at once. Cameras aren't moving. There's Foxy. I'm not seeing any handprints or hand smudges. Foxy is now gone. So it's Freddy or Balloon Boy. Right, Freddy or Balloon Boy? Oh, here's Freddy. Nothing weird happened with Freddy in the room alone. Oh wait, Freddy hasn't left yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that definitely moved actually. Who's moving in? That's Freddy. I think it's gotta be Freddy. Freddy. Uh, oh, Jack Hughes. There we go. Nice. Okay. Whoo. Five. Hmm. Strategically, I should call, repair, accuse, 
then... Yeah, I should repair someone before... Because otherwise I'm wasting all of this downtime on repairing someone. Okay, now... See, a new ghost has entered an animatronic, but I don't know who it's going to be. See, now it could be any of them. Yeah, I, I, I need to optimize that better. Okay, the ghost is already in here. Okay, that's that's definitely moving on its own. And that's uh, Chica. It's it's definitely Chica. So at least we know that. So we know it's Chica. So don't call Chica. I'm going to call Freddy, repair him. Accuse Chica and then repair someone else. I think that's the right order. A lot of this is just like figuring out the timing of when to do these things. Come on. There we go. Chica. Get repaired. Okay, animatronic stability. Accuse Chica. Great. Call Foxy. So hopefully we'll be able to repair Foxy. And now Foxy should not be haunted. Wow, these tick down fast. This is this is tough management. Because even if you're solving these quickly... Okay, Ghost has entered. So let's repair him. We know it's not going to be Foxy. We know it's not Balloon Boy, because Balloon Boy would be glitching out. Okay, Fo we know it's not Foxy. Chica. Okay, who just left? Marionette just left. Marionette's haunted. Okay, who do we call? Call. And I'm gonna accuse the marionette. Whew, this is tough. This is actually really challenging. And all of this kind of uh, back and forth of who to accuse and when, this is, this is tricky, man. I like it. But yeah, you're spinning plates. It, it has the same essence of Five Nights at Freddy's where, again, you're, you're managing a bunch of resources. Okay, call. Then we're gonna call the puppet here in a second. Then we're going to accuse. Coming down, coming down. Okay, there. Accuse. Back. Here. Down. Up. Over. I need to call the marionette. Okay. Who's this going to be next? Bonnie's next. Okay. This is intense. Puppet's coming down. 41, 40. Okay, I'm going to have to repair it. Okay, ghost has entered. Is there already a handprint there? There is. Which is kind of a bummer because no one's in here. <laughs> Shoot. Come on. Anyone? Okay, Freddy. Freddy. Hey, Freddy. What's going on, bud? Ooh. Did he just put a handprint in here? That seems new. Okay, I need to go repair someone. I think it's Freddy. Okay. Here. Animatronic stability. Uh, I'm gonna call Bonnie. Let's double check that it's Freddy. But I'm almost 100% positive it is. Because who else? Marionette's not here, but we know Marionette's not gonna be haunted. There's Freddy. So when Freddy leaves, there's Chica too. Marionette left, nothing got added. Chica left, ooh, Chica left a handprint. 
So it's actually Chica. And we're trying stability. Let's accuse Chica. Right? It was Chica? Right, Ash? I think so. Nope. Shoot. Shoot. That was incorrect. So it must be Freddy. Or, yeah, it has to be Freddy then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I should have gone with my gut. That was Freddy. Oh no! Wait, did he, did he end? Shoot. No, you called Freddy. Oh, I called Freddy accidentally? Yeah. No! Oh no, what a fool I was! Oh, I thought I called someone else. Oh no! Shoot. That's a look. It's giving LaRue. You like it? Yeah. You like it? I like it. For for a long time, there was the, the YouTubers with the hair wall, but now we've got the hair waterfall. I like that. This is this is me pioneering the oh, new wow. YouTuber look. That's Because also TikTokers and, and like, you know, the, the Twitch streamers have like the big long hair or like big poofy like oversized like e-boy hair. Yeah. So this is the exhausted Five Nights at Freddy's or hair. Mm. This is it. This is a very specific hairstyle for all Five Nights at Freddy's uh, channels or channels that touch that franchise. Yeah. This is it. You know, if you want to compromise with the e-boys, all you need is that one long, like, dinkly earring. Oh, I could you Yeah. Right? I think you could rock that. Can I, can you do one without piercing my ears, though? Although I'm kind yeah, of there, sensitive. Yeah, there's, like, there's little, like, clippy ones that, that might you hurt. can get. I don't want to, okay. Yeah. Okay. As long as, as long as it's a little pinch and not a little poke. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with the pinch. I'm not fine with the poke. Don't you be poking. Just pinching. Just pinching. Uh, should we do this one more time? Uh, let's go one more time. One more time. We were so close, Ash. We almost had it. I mean, we didn't want to make it too easy for ourselves today. Let's be honest. Uh, okay, let's call someone. Okay. All right, friendos. We're gonna we're gonna speed run this one. We were doing so well last time. And you can see how all the different, like, evidence pieces, I guess, all work with each other. Okay, here's Freddy. He's a, oh, Freddy and Bonnie. Freddy and Bonnie. Freddy and Bonnie. Love it if one of you moved or, okay, Bonnie left. I'm seeing no handprint, so probably not Bonnie. Freddy, still hanging out. Freddy, feel free to move at at your leisure, Freddy. <laughs> at your at your leisure, Freddy. Oh, Chica's in the room now. Please, don't you have places to go? Ooh, Chica's moving the camera. The camera didn't move until Chica was there, so I'm pretty sure it's Chica. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna repair. We're gonna call Bonnie. We're gonna accuse Chica once for, uh, Bonnie's here. Cause we are 100% confident it's not Bonnie. I'm almost 100% confident it's Chica. Cause the camera didn't move until Chica was there, so. Let's wait for it. You're here. I'm gonna accuse Chica. Great. Now we're gonna call. Let's call Chica actually. So we've accused Chica, so now we'll make sure that Chica is not in there. Chica's on her way. Marionette's in here. Marionette Freddy. No one's haunted yet though, is the thing. Okay, Ghost is in. Foxy and Marionette. Foxy left and there's still nothing. Marionette's here. Marionette's still hanging out. I'd love to see the Marionette actually leave. Okay, Marionette left. 
And marionette left hand print. Okay, marionette's it. Marionette's guilty. I'm gonna call Foxy. Mary, we're gonna accuse Marionette. Do, 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 do. I guess I could confirm that it's still Marionette. Another one. Come on. Come on. Shoot. Oh no, I called someone as it was a oh. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the puppet. Camera's... No, camera's not flashing more. Did Foxy's left. Foxy didn't leave me a... Oh, Foxy left me a present! Seems like that's definitely Foxy. Okay, I'm gonna say it's Foxy. Again, in the interest of doing this fairly quickly. Uh, who do we got call? Call, ooh, Balloon Boy. We think it's Foxy. Just, let's, let's see if we can confirm that. Since we got a minute here. Where's my Foxy Boy at? Here's Foxy. Yep, yeah, absolutely, Foxy. Great. So we know for sure that's that's a thing. Balloon Boy needs to be repaired. Uh, yeah, we should call Bonnie, and we're going to accuse Foxy here in a second. So that way, during the down period, I can repair Chica. Hey, Bonnie's coming. Great. Three of four, or four of, four of five. Okay, Bonnie, animatronic stability, we're gonna call Chica. Okay, so Chica's not haunted. <sighs> this is tough, this is really good. I like this a lot. Now that I understand the mechanics and have a better, and have a better sense of how it all works. Go figure, knowing how to play the game makes it better. <laughs> Uncanny how that works. Okay, that's Chica has just arrived. But I think Chica's got a minute. Okay, Freddy. Okay, Freddy and Foxy are in here. And Marionette. Oop. Seems like it's Foxy. It's either Foxy or Marionette. If I could find one of them, that'd be great. Ooh, Freddy? Freddy? Is it you, Freddy? Shoot, I gotta double check. How's everyone doing? Okay, they're all doing okay. Who's the next one I got worried about? Okay, it is the next one I got worried about is Freddy or Foxy. So we know it's gonna be one of them. Hmm. Okay, oh, yeah, it's Freddy. Great.
Freddy, accuse. Is that it? Now I have one more. Shoot. Oh, darn it. Call. I thought that was the last one! No! No! Oh, I, I would have repaired Foxy in the downtime. Shoot. Oh no, Ash! We have to confirm immediately that it's not Foxy, otherwise we're gonna get jump scared. Oh, come on. Okay, ghost. Okay, here it is. So we know Freddy's safe. Okay, we need to solve for Foxy immediately. Okay, here's a handprint. Here's Foxy. And she. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Foxy has left. Unclear whether he left a handprint. Marionette's in here. Freddy's in here. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay, it's not Freddy. Okay, Marionette's left. <laughs> Marionette did not leave a handprint, it seems like. Oh, come on. There's a handprint in here! Who, who was in here? Where you at, Foxy? Oh, come on. Okay, there's Foxy. And Chica, of course. And they both left at the same time! It's gotta be, it's Foxy, right? There's Foxy. Foxy left a handprint, it's gotta be. I think we gotta do it. Oh! <laughs> His stability was at one. <laughs> wow. Wow. <sighs> that you know? Yeah. That is that I is I think I do. That is <laughs> That might be one of one of the highlights highlights of GT Live gameplay right there. <laughs> oh! Ooh, clutch at the last minute. Wow. <sighs> My heart is racing. That was so exciting. All right. I I think 3 nights. I'm feeling good about that. That's a good place to end. Yeah. Let's watch this last tape. And then we'll wrap it up for, for this episode. But, man, solid gameplay. This is, this is fun. It's hard. Discovering the clues in and of itself isn't difficult. The managing of the clues and, and the timing of repairing people is, is tough. It is tough. And so I'm curious and a little bit concerned as it gets harder and harder and as things get kind of added onto this, as the stability, I'm assuming, shrinks more and more uh, tougher. But here we go. Your curiosity is eating at you, but you don't know if you should watch it or not. I, I feel like there's probably maybe two endings to this game, where one is like you don't watch the tapes and one is where you do. I am curious about that, but I'm going to watch it. Like, the fact that they give me a choice, anytime you have a choice in games like this, it makes me think, like, oh, there must be a second ending where maybe we're getting possessed. You know, we're getting possessed by watching the tapes and maybe by not watching them we survive or something. Oh, he's blueprinting it out. I love the fingerprints in the in the clay. Oh, Bonnie. This is adorable. Freddy just hanging out in his rocking chair. Bonnie, you got this taken care of. Oh, that is adorable. What what precious little beans. Oh, the ghost has left. Freddy. Oh, and is now in Bonnie. I know Bonnie is putting the part in. <laughs> I love Professor Bonnie. 
little glasses. I remember the way. What? Ah, oh, those were the days when we were two non haunted animatronics that were able to appreciate one another's company. Ah, oh, how great it was. Um, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is nights one through three of Juniors. A far, a far, far cry from where we uh, were playing the game last time. So we've made a lot of progress here. Um, obviously, I'm assuming. Five nights probably plus a bonus night, so hopefully next time we're able to do maybe the last two, and then hopefully next time we can beat it, right? The nights are long, and if you lose, you lose a lot of progress, so that's the only downside to it, but overall, guys, I'm, I'm happy with this. I feel like we've got a solid handle on the mechanics. Now it's just execution and being able to figure out kind of those, spinning those plates appropriately. But uh, really good. If you haven't checked out Juniors, uh, link is going to be down below in the description. Check it out. It's version 1.3 right now. Um, and now that you've watched our videos, hopefully you understand how to play it a little bit better uh, since it took us a while to figure out. But across the board, really solid. Aesthetically, it's great. Uh, you know, the protagonist, cool as a cucumber. One of the best protagonists that gaming has ever had. Uh, <laughs> You know, so we'll find out what happens to our, our little claymation friends and their animatronic mangle coming up next time. But in the meantime, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!